driving while intoxicated, understand the facts about drugs and alcohol. Without a doubt, the biggest danger that American drivers confront today is drunk driving. As we have learned in this course's earlier modules, defensive driving calls for sharp motor skills and mental agility. A driver's ability to think clearly, move precisely, or see the environment around their car is reduced when they are under the influence of alcohol, drugs, weariness, or illness. They are consequently much more prone to commit a grave error that causes a traffic collision. This section examines the two common and harmful factors that contribute to impaired driving, alcohol and drugs. You will discover how these chemicals affect your body and how this ultimately compromises your capacity for safe driving. We also go over the laws governing driving while intoxicated and the possible repercussions on both the individual and the legal levels. As a young learner driver, you are more vulnerable to the consequences of driver impairment than more experienced drivers, so alcohol and drug awareness must be a major component of your driver's education curriculum. Additionally, the majority of adolescents and young people are eventually exposed to alcohol and drug use through their friends and wider social network. As a result, you might be tempted to experiment with these drugs yourself. You can safeguard yourself from the following by being aware of how alcohol and drugs will impact your physical, mental, and emotional state. It is against the law to drive under the influence of alcohol if you are under 21. Alcohol can damage your ability to drive without having to make you completely inebriated. Even one drink of alcohol can have a significant impact on your mental state, slowing your reaction time and increasing your propensity for risky behavior. Due to their inexperience behind the wheel and limited tolerance for alcohol, teen drivers are especially vulnerable to this effect. You must follow the law and refuse to use alcohol and illegal substances as a responsible young adult. Don't drive if you decide to use alcohol or drugs. It's easy to abide by these guidelines. If you violate them, you risk losing your driving privileges or, worse perhaps, your life. Alcohol consumption while driving. Alcohol is a harmful and intoxicating drug. It will affect how your mind functions and make it difficult for you to control your own body, let alone a car. Unfortunately, alcohol use is accepted as normal in society. Alcohol is portrayed as being generally safe, common, and even good in daily life. Our perceptions about alcohol are gradually evolving. Fewer individuals are opting to consume alcohol, and stricter rules enable federal and state governments to crack down on alcohol abuse and alcohol-related crimes like drunken driving DUI. Despite these advancements, it is still believed that alcohol is to blame for about one-third of all traffic-related fatalities in the US. You or someone you care about could easily become a statistic if you decide to drink and drive or hang out with those who do. What rules apply to DUI right now? Driving while intoxicated is illegal in all 50 states and the District of Columbia, and those who do so face harsh penalties. Underage drivers are not allowed to have any alcohol in their systems, but in most states, adults are allowed to drive with a permissible blood alcohol content of up to 0.08%. In our modules on BAC and DUI regulations, you may learn how to determine your blood alcohol concentration BAC as well as what this number actually means in terms of actual alcohol intake. What level of alcohol is safe? It's crucial to realize that safe and legal are two different concepts. Almost all states allow adults over 21 to drive while having a blood alcohol level of 0.03%, 0.05%, or even 0.07%. Without a doubt, Alcohol consumption can cause drunkenness and impairment as early as 0.02% or 0.01%. Alcohol begins to enter your bloodstream through mouth blood vessels the instant you take your first sip of an alcoholic beverage, traveling through your body to your brain. Alcohol can change cognition and slow down physical functioning in a variety of subtle, and sometimes not so subtle, ways in this situation. Even trace levels of alcohol can have a strong chemical effect on the brain. Our driving while intoxicated module details the precise mechanisms underlying absorption of alcohol, how you get drunk, and alcohol abstinence, how alcohol is expelled from your body and how long this will take on average.